Hey, what's up? It's John Kizzy. You know who is he? Also known as Philly G because they know who I be. And I'm joined by King Tigger. And on the phone, as always, we got Genghis Khan, the War General. And hey, we started a podcast. All right, what's up? All right, what's up? All right, we're here with episode 14 of A, we started a podcast. And today we're going to big up our homeland, our natives, um, artists, I should say, not just natives, native artists. And that's uh, top 10 Canadian artists. We're going to show some hip hop love to our fellow Canadians. All right, uh, took me a while to go through this list. I actually, I had a longer list, had to narrow it down. Um, so uh, usually I start it, let somebody else start it today. Go ahead, GK. Okay, okay, okay. cool. Um, my, uh, I got top, I said about, I went to seven, but I got like three more I kind of want to save, but my my top ones, I have, uh, this is like in really no particular order until like the top three. I have uh, Rascals, uh, Cardinal Official, okay, right? Yeah. Cardinal, um, Maestro Fresh West, <laughs> yeah. Me, Drop the Needle, Belly, uh, Universal Soul, Tory nice. Lane. Okay, sweet. Um, that my, that eight. I ain't even counting. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, I think that was seven. Right. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna put I put classified in there, right? You know, me making good track, classified, and then I got my last two um, are the Helltown Assassins and Genghis Khan, the War General. Those are the last two. You know what I mean, they were, they were fired back in the day, so I had to kind of get big those guys up as well. So yeah, those are my ten. How they too? But those are those are the same people. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. The Helltown Assassins was was the group, bro. Was I know. The group. Remember they were a group. Remember they were a group of like fifteen guys. Remember they were all in the group. Remember that. You remember that group back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that that that's what. And he that was part was of the group. group. That's why I said it's. All yeah, I was part. Of, yeah, he was. He was part of the group. He was part of the group. Yeah, that, that's why I say it's like then, you put him twice okay. on the list. Okay. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna. Well, I'll say my my last my last group my last uh, member would be probably. Um, Little's a general. God rest his oh, soul. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, okay. Little's a general because I gotta go. put him in there. Yeah, respect. I mean, so that's a nice so. list. That's my top ten in Canadian know. history. It's not bad. That's like that. I like that. Mine ain't that much different than yours. I don't got a top ten. I only got a top five. I, sorry, Canadians. I don't really get down with y'all like that, there. But uh, I got Cardinal. I got Belly. I got Maestro. Yeah. Same as you. I got Universal Soul. Yeah. And I got uh, 180 as well. Now, okay, 180 is okay. a little bit different than uh, what we used to, that gangster rap mm-hmm. shit or fucking just straight hip-hop. This is more gospel, truth saying and stuff like that, right? So, Well, shout, shout, out, to what, shout out to my brother 180, man. Exactly, you know, he's doing you know big I mean? things, though, too, yeah, right? Huge That's things, not, well, huge things. He's doing big things, man. He's, yeah. One thing with him, he doesn't stop. He keeps grinding every yep, day. He keeps exactly. putting the work in, man. It's all love, That's man. That's what you got to do, right? So, yeah. Got that passion. Keeps grinding. Even though he keeps telling me he's going to retire every second week. But it's all good, though. Yeah, he keeps coming back. Jay-Z. Isn't that, isn't that so what like every artist says? <laughs> two, two days later, I got I got another album. I was talking the other day. Cut that. Cut Yeah, he said I got like four albums on on, on, uh, on just waiting to drop. Because oh, yeah, of the stock problem. He's going to retire after that. You know? No, no, no! He come back. He come back. That's, he come. That, seems, come that back, seems to bro. be the life of a rapper. You put out three <laughs> albums, then you just say you're retiring for the next thirty years while you keep putting out <laughs> albums. <laughs> this one's my last. No, one. this one's my last last one. This one's my last last. I swear, no, I'm done this time. And then you're still. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Goodness. No, man. That's cool. no, really good list, man. Really good list. Um, shoot. Okay, here's my list and. I guess it's kind of in order, um, okay. except the the, fir- the the bottom five could go anywhere, but okay. the top five are in order. So I'm going to start with Mitchell Fresh West. Like you said, mm. drop the needle, let your backbone slide. He's he's one of the first people that uh, yeah. made it more universal. He wasn't just mm. Canadian. He he crossed over. Yeah, um, he would be that first. No, to be honest, man, to add to that. He was the first Canadian crossover rapper, bro, to go on the other side of Canada and kind of get that recognition. You got to give him that love, man. 
You mean respect? He lives in St. John now, eh? He up here now. Okay. Is he? Didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, he lives up here. He does, he does, uh, I think he does a radio show. Like, he, does, he does a bunch of stuff up here. Just, he lives, he's been up here for two or three years now. Okay. I mean, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah he was kinda, the he, maestro. He, he kind of opened the door. He 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 showed uh, Canadians that want to rap that you could do it and do something yeah. with it, right? Yeah. And then, well, I was telling you, go ahead, brother. I say, go ahead. I say and then the next person I'm going to list is like almost on the opposite end where we say my fresh West was one of the first. This guy is more recent to me and that's Mercules. Yeah. Um, heard him do some stuff with tech nine. He, he sees, he's, I like, I like his style. He got skills. No, um, he, he does. He does. Um, so my next one is, and I, I hope I'm saying his name right. Canon connect, Canan and he had that song Waving Flag. Waving Flag. That was all over the radio all the time. Yeah. Mm, mm. Um, Then I got Belly. Still like that song Pressure with Jingle Wine. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, that's fire, bro. Yeah. That's fire. I I don't know why Hulk Hogan showed up in the video, his race. The Hulkster. (laughs) The Hulkster does come through. (laughs) Just chill. 24 inch Python. I know. know. But yeah, that, that was a jam. And he put out a new album last year. Ooh, Hogan? Oh, it was nice. I heard it. Yeah, I heard Hogan. It. I it was nice. <laughs> yeah, Hulk Hogan what? put on a new album last year. Because <laughs> remember when? Album now. Because remember when? Now. Uh, remember when? I don't know if you guys heard it. Cause <laughs> it was stupid. Hulk Hogan did put on a song. This and Macho Man, and Macho Man had a whole just <laughs> rebuttal. Album, oh man, just album. yeah. But anyways, yeah. 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 So I got Belly there. Then I got Tory Lanes. Tory, yeah. Even yeah. though most of the songs I like is his singing. Uh, yeah. When he did that freestyle on Funk Master Flex, I was like, okay. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah it was he, crazy. he could spit. So yeah, that's yeah. why I, he got on my yeah. list. He's almost like like the, the egg bro. He's almost like Drake, but he's, but he's more singer. You know what I mean? He still raps a lot in a lot of his songs, but he, he sings. He's more of a singer. Right? Yeah. More but you, of you it. Know you, know what's, I mean? you know what's funny? Is that mm. um, now this is objectively speaking, just from to my opinion, on a skill okay. level. I think that Tory Lanez is a much better singer and he's a much better spitter than Drake. But I like all Drake's stuff better. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I get, Drake just knows how to promote himself. I say, I say singer because I, I, def, I definitely would say he's he a better He definitely singer. has a different singer. But I mean, like, like, better, definitely, but rapper, rapper wise, yeah. mm, I don't know. I, I, don't I, know. I mean, spitting, like I don't know. fire. Like, like he, um, what, you know, I mean, it's like he got the fire, he got the aggression. Where uh, yeah. Drake can come to just silently kill, you know, smooth, yeah. smooth, yeah. smooth the fuck out of you, right? Drake and is, Drake also okay, his versatile like is by right. He doesn't just like Tory when he raps is kind of that same kind of format where we rap, where like Drake can kind of flip out every which way. You know what I mean? That's why I mean. Anyway, like, I don't want to go, go right into Drake, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because no, you know, but I, I know what you, you mean, know, and that's King what I'm saying. King will kill us. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to go away. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying that. Come on, on he better he, get ready he, for it. He ain't even done his list. I'm like, not even done my list. I'm not even done my list. Okay. 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 And he knows Drake's okay. on it, so it's going to happen. But I do want to water because you better watch out. But to add on what you said with Tory Lanez, it's like I feel like he has the potential because skill wise to be better than Drake, but Drake is just, I don't know. Drake. He, he ain't, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you yeah. you hear him spit on Funk Flex, you're like, okay, this guy got bars. Then you hear him sing, and his voice is better. But then you hear the music, and Drake just does better music. But 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 at the, I wouldn't say better music. I like I'm not the, the oh, whatever yeah. like. But yeah. what I'm saying is this: How would you Tory not say music? Cat- to, to, but Tory's not catering to the um to the to what am I saying like the regular fans because he don't it's make not. radio music. Right, no, Tory doesn't make radio music. Have no. you ever heard a song of Tory's on the radio? Yeah, no. I have. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's what, what song? One, I think one, uh, um, the one with uh, Jesse Reyes. Uh, exactly, exactly. What's it called? Jesse Reyes. It's my favorite yeah, song. But that's what, Why are you saying? But that's exactly, what I'm saying. Exactly, Jesse Reyes. It's what both I'm saying is, what, 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 it's, I what hope I'm that you feel that, it. I hope that you feel it too. There you go. That's mm-hmm. and well, that's what I'm saying is that what I'm saying is this. But wait, he, his 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 regular albums, he ain't making them for the radio, bro. His albums, like any song. Uh, it, name one song off his new album that's on the radio. Name one song that's off Drake's album that's on the radio. Every I mean, that's that's all I'm saying. I could every name, song. Uh, well, I couldn't name either. Mm-hmm. There, like like I told you, I Drake's last album, I liked it, but I couldn't. Well, name either way, but you, but, I, but either way, that's why I think. I, either let, way, either way I mean? I'm, I'm going to get to Drake later. We can we can save okay. Drake for later. I was on Tory. I was on Tory. Yeah, okay, well, Tory. <laughs> Tory's on the list. After Tory, I got Socrates. <laughs> Sorry, okay, go ahead. Yeah, I got Socrates. Stop. I got yeah, Socrates yeah. next. Uh, Money Your okay. Love is my, one of my 
jams from him. Uh, after yeah. Socrates, I got Mishy Me. Half because I like mm. these two songs, but half because I kind of had a crush on her growing up. Okay. <laughs> so that's what Mickey, she yeah. 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 Um, then Cardinal Official. Mm. Even though most of his jam jams is like with Akon or somebody else. Yeah. He, he still had flow. Um, and oh, then yeah. my number two is Chaos. That's uh that song um some people know it is on the run, but the official title is I Wish I Knew Natalie Portman. The one with oh, him, yeah, him yeah, and yeah. Socrates, because yeah. that's my jam. Yeah. And then Crabs in the Bucket. Yeah. And then even Crabs Saturday the morning. Yeah. I hate that fucking song. Like, <laughs> I, <love that. laughs> yeah, I know. That was one of those songs I didn't really like either. Oh, but I mean it was, it was all right though. It was all right. Hey, it was a jam to me. And then Crabs my number the one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know it. See, that's what I mean. Hate it or love it. You still know it. <laughs> the only thing I loved about that song was when it came on, I got to sit down off the dance floor. Oh, yeah, you did put that on. Okay, and my number one. make a song. Crabs in the bucket. I know. And my number one is Drake. And the funny thing, with all the work that Drake did, my favorite song by Drake is still the first song he ever did. And that's the best I ever had. That's my That's my go-to Drake song. Anytime I make okay. a Drake bait playlist, that's on it. To me, I think that that's his best song. That's to me. Yeah, he has a lot of good tracks. So that, that, that's up there for sure. Oh, yeah. I never say he didn't have a lot of good tracks. So, so don't get me wrong. Yeah. Y'all niggas put the yeah. singers on a rapper's list again. I told you about that shit. Hey. He, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. But, but not singers. These guys ain't singers that can rap. These are rappers that can sing. And I'm telling you, yeah. Drake, Drake raps better than he sings. His voice is, yeah. he, he definitely has that auto tune yeah. going on. If he was on a Canadian Idol, he wouldn't make it past the qualifying rounds. You know, he ain't got the voice voice like that. Tory could probably. Tory could make it past. Yeah, for but sure. Drake, he's he just happens to be smooth because he can get. Like I said, bro, Drake knows how to promote himself. That's the thing Drake got going good for him. Ever since wheelchair Eddie, what the fuck his name was on the grassy. I mean, so he just knows how to promote himself. Um, one guy I forgot to mention. I fucking totally forgot to mention, and that was uh Dax. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dax. He's one yeah. of my top two. Yeah. All right. Since you guys are putting the singers on, I'm putting the singer on too. Nah, he raps the same. <laughs> oh, I know he raps. Yeah, they do both. Hey, I give yeah. him props. We can put him on both lists. If there was he, a... he can go on country too. And the stuff I heard from him, he definitely can go on country. Yeah. So I was, but he got he he got skills. Yeah, for sure. Um. True. Is there any new artists coming out that we ain't never touched on or? Is there some artists that we want to hear more from? Some Canadian artists? Other than Drake and Tory? Because I know Joe was getting ready to say Drake. You know, you know. No. <laughs> I was going to actually say, um, be honest, no. No. Like, I don't really know any, like, the the, the, the Canadian music scene, to be honest. Uh, yeah. there's, some, there's some artists that are doing some stuff, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I just go on Spotify and find new artists on there. Yeah, true enough. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I mean. So. I'd actually like to hear but, but, more from Socrates, to be honest. Because um, I, I always liked him growing up. The thing, I think a lot of it, though, too, is, bro, guys, is, like, you know, they need to be more, like, relevant to, like, the game itself. Because I remember when we used to do shows back in the day, so, you know, or whoever it was, or even, like, classified other guys, because they go around and do a bunch of shows. Cause mm. Local artists don't do shows no more, guys. Yeah, you can't find right. you can't you go 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 look right now like every weekend we were doing something mm-hmm. so you know that bro you know what i mean every weekend we were doing this doing that going here rapping here going like make like now artists ain't even doing nothing so why can't even do a show you they know, open you, know, people. you know you know what i mean I, like i, I kind of agree with you but i'm on this thing where it's about promotion because i'm finding out that artists are out there doing stuff but it's the word of don't get out there like you know when i find out I find out either the night of or the day after. You know what I mean? Like back in the day when stuff was coming out, they went out and they told everybody and stuff. Now I think some people rely on social media too much. That's what I'm saying. That's real, what they're worried about. Yeah. And, and, and don't yeah. realize that not everybody's plugged into every social yeah. media. Like say you yeah. promoted all your stuff on Instagram. I wouldn't know about it. Yeah. Say somebody yeah. did it only on Facebook. Any people that are mostly Instagram wouldn't know about it. So yeah. people yeah. are missing out on a lot of audiences yeah. because... The so, social media, it's like we said before in the day, at the end, we're in the age of so, information, but people yeah. are, are missing more information because there's so much out there. But at the end of the day, because it's, the, it's, the, it's actually the connection, right? You know what I mean? If you, let's say you just, let's say you heard a band, whatever, you went to a show, like there's this band that plays up here to call like the Bad, Bad Band, Marty Band or something. They play like a bunch of covers, whatever. 
Yeah. And like, I went to one of the shows once, like just happened to pop in. I'm like, oh man, this is really good. That left an impression with me. Now when I know the playing somewhere, I'm like, I want to listen to their music. So mm-hmm. it's like, oh, like yeah, you know sure. what I mean? Like, that's why they could like more live music has to be played right now. They, because we went away from it for a minute. Right. And that's how they can make their money anyway. But it seems like they ain't, maybe we ain't in the circles anymore. That's nothing too, right? We ain't no uh, that, that's what I'm saying. I think it's more like that because I do like, I'll admit it. I don't go to the shows. Because, mm-hmm. like I said, I only find out with short notice. But I do see a lot of people do like ghetto okay. socks, and you'll see stuff like that happening. Mm-hmm. And um, but like I said, it, it's like last minute notice. I find it. Yeah. True, man. True. Sorry, guys. I think it's, I think it's <laughs> Neil there. So, but yeah, um, man. Like, no, it is. It is. It's true. Like, like last minute. Like, can't find nothing, man. You know what I mean, no shows anymore. I bet there's a hip hop show going on in probably both of our cities right now, but we ain't heard about it. And then you, you might see something for it tomorrow. You know what I mean? It, it's crazy. Like yeah, that. but but, the, but the, the buzz too, right? The buzz should be already be there. You don't got the buzz and you know about your shows and what's up. You know what I mean? But but you you the already buzz said it. should be there. You already said it. Where are we in that circle to even hear that buzz? Yeah, exactly. right. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't have my ear to the local scene because I ain't in it no more. So I don't have my ear to the local scene like I used to. Mm. That's why I hesitate to say people aren't doing shows like they used to because I ain't really it checking for them. No, so no, I'm it, not saying. So it, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it doesn't seem that way to see, me, but I'm not there to even see it. So, so well, I, I, say, can't, yeah. I can't. See, right, here, right, right here is just this is the same day where we needed uh, DJ Laton on the show because mm. he got his ear so to the ground. And knows yeah, yeah. He probably, going he'd probably on be able scene, to. Right? So. Yeah. He'd probably be able to be like, no, because yeah. they're doing all kinds of stuff. Exactly, right. Because they got to be, because, like, I only seen Ghetto Socks in one concert, and that was, like, at least eight years ago. And um, he, his name is still relevant and stuff, so he must be still doing whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a lot of people doing stuff. Just like you said, we ain't, we ain't in that no more. You know what I mean? So we here. Like we here, we ain't we ain't clubbing, we ain't. I mean, we we just we just, we just doing our thing now. We we old men, so we gotta start getting our air okay. back to the ground, though, so we can figure out what's going on. So, Cuz said we're old men. Oh, we's old okay. men, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not old, Cuz. I'm sorry, Cuz. Oh, you old? Cause you'll, be, do, you'll, I, you'll be fifty I, in two I, weeks. I, I, only, I, I only was I only was born once. Don't start this one. But I was only born once, Cuz. So <laughs> I'm just hey, here. I'm just here because existing. Like, I was like, you know, it was documented that you already called yourself old there's, a few times. No, 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 there's yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. But I started rethinking my whole perspective on it. And I said, look, look, I'm only as old as I feel. I mean. I feel old, but it's all good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I said, I'm only as old as I feel. And then goes to bed at 7 30. Yeah. <laughs> Go right to bed. Night, night. <laughs> night, night. What well, last pause? He's like, all right, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> like, Mid convo. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. Gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Facts, facts, oh, man. Facts. But no, nah, man. man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, man, we just. We gotta mm-hmm. get our air back to the street and find out what these young cats are doing. Even if some of the old cats are still doing stuff, well, cause I think I, Universal well, I even, is also doing some stuff. You know what I mean? So, well, what 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 I'm thinking is what well, we could talk about. I'm talking about podcast right now, but we actually let's shout out some of these um, artists. Anyway, anyone listening to the show, if you were artists, you know what I mean. You want to get some promo? If you want to have a conversation with us, tell us your story. Hit us up, man. You know I mean, because yeah, that's what we should be doing. We should be linking up with y'all that are in the local scene. Come through, sit down. You know what I mean? Either on, like I said, we can hook you up phone or whatever, and we can start interviewing y'all, you know what I mean, knowing your story. Because we want to get your story out there, too. We was in the scene before at one time, you know what I mean? So why can't we help you get somewhere, yeah, you know what exactly I mean? So right. let's, 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 um, let's really, let's show this out to y'all, man, and let you know, man. All right, actually, on. to build on Make that, up. to build on that, we are going to have, uh, coming up soon, um, Dirty B. Dirty B? Dirty yeah. Dirty B. Well, that's, that's that'll be our first one, yeah. And he's yeah. out there still grinding. He, yeah. he actually yeah. put a video out, um... What was that one where they took the jump around? Drink around, isn't it? Oh, man. Sorry, Dirty B, bro. Yeah, sorry, I forget the name of it. Yeah, don't plug them yet because you don't even know his name. You don't even know the song. <laughs> wait, the song. Wait till you get the name of the song before you plug the dude. You know what I mean? Should have been ready to play it. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we love you, Dirty. No, it we was like, you, it was the House of Pain jump mm-hmm. around beat and kind of okay. like feel, but it was about drinking. Okay. Um, he did a. Okay. Um, 
man. It's called. I know. Drunk I, I seen the song because it's with that oh, drunk guy. Is, um, drunk yeah, as hell. It's called drunk as hell. Yeah. Uh, what's his, what's the other guy's name? Like Chris. Uh, Chris, Chris Samson. Or Chris Christ, Sam- yeah, yeah. I Christ, think Christ, Christ Samson. Samson. Christ yeah, Samson. Christ, Christ Samson. Samson. Yeah. No, it's actually a really good song, man. They really did a good job yeah, on that, man. I I I watched the video. Okay, I watched the video, but yeah, but come through, man, and, and um, and we'll have that combo, man. That's what it's about. Yeah, yeah. It's about. And I got to talk to him. About, yeah, but like we said, promotion and getting mm-hmm. out there because I think if I didn't know him, I probably wouldn't know about this. True. No. Like, yeah. There's got to be more. Oh, uh, Corey put on a new song too. Corey writes. Um, yeah. Recently, same thing. Corey hit up. Hit us up, brother. Um, hit us up, man. Man, well, I gotta start writing down the names of these new songs. Mm-hmm. The new, yeah. so I don't know the names yeah. of them. Right, I'm sorry. It's no disrespect. Yeah. It just came out. It's new, but yeah, he's putting out new stuff. So yeah, the scene's still happening, and I actually but, see him doing some shows. But like I said, that's a person who I want to go support and see his shows. But like I said, I don't see it until like the day after. Truthfully, because the only yeah. time yeah. I I am on like Facebook and stuff is on my breaks while at work. When I work from home, I don't even check it because on my breaks, I can do whatever yeah. I'm home, right? So right. when I come home from yeah. work, Facebook ain't even on my mind yeah. and stuff. So I miss so much stuff because people would be like, yo, you see that thing I posted? And I'm like, nope. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That is true. If you that posted it while I was at work, I might, I might end up seeing it at lunch or something. But yeah. So I guess that's my bad because I'm not pl- as plugged into social media as some of the younger people. But, um, yeah, I feel like we shouldn't have to search as hard. Back in the day, we didn't have to search as hard. Back in the day, true, you true, know, back in the day, true, there was true. no social media, right? There was no social media. Yeah, we knew what was going yeah. on. And we knew what, when, yeah. the, when who was performing where and what was going on. We okay. didn't have to search yeah. for it. We'd walk down the street yeah. and there'd be a poster right everywhere. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think promotion, the only thing that's holding anybody back, I guess, is the same promotion because they got the talent. I hear the talent. Yeah. The skills is there. Yeah. It's just you gotta let people know it. And people have to know by hearing it, right? Yeah, that's true. Cool, yeah. So yeah, I wish all the those artists luck in the future. And we're gonna have the first one, Dirty B will be on here soon. Um yeah. either next week or the week after. We'll see what's up. And, yeah, man. Like I said, any any artists reach out. Reach out to us. Doesn't even need to be artists to be honest. It could be anyone that you know wants to have a wants to have a conversation with us, man. Oh, yeah, Tom we'll, was on. Yeah, you know I mean, we'll he's gonna be on we'll more often. Topic. Oh yeah, right. And we'll find a topic, yeah. whatever, whatever topics you want to talk about. Like just reach out to us, right? Just hit us on the on the you know and on, on the chat on the bottom or, or on our post, and we'll 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 figure something out. You know yeah. I mean? But yeah, give suggestions yeah. and just yeah, yeah. In the future, maybe we'll have people call in. Eh? Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I mean, we can get <laughs> you through the phone. See, we got gangs calling through the phone, so we can get y'all through the phone too. So exactly, exactly. That's what I mean. You can link up as many as possible. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, man. Right. One of these days, we do some. We do one live, and y'all can call in and say whatever you got to say, whether it's negative or positive. I, I like confrontation, so bring it on. I don't know, know why when he <laughs> said, when, when he said call in, I got Miss Cleo's voice right in my head. Call me now. Call me now. <laughs> <laughs> that's some old shit. Cause stop showing your age. Miss Cleo. Miss Cleo. Miss Cleo. I was really over here showing his age. Call me now. <laughs> Fuck. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. Because yeah. that was that was that was mid eighties. Come on. <laughs> what mid eighties? I wouldn't know enough in the eighties to remember nothing. There you was. I was born then. Yeah. I said yeah. mid eighties. You remember stuff from when you five and six years old. So Call me now. <laughs> Mrs. Cleo. All right. You still around? Miss Cleo still around? No, Miss Cleo did, bro. Miss Cleo was like fifty something years old when we was kids. Oh shoot. Yeah, bro. Oh. Tell Damn. everybody's features. She seen it coming up. <laughs> She did see it coming. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she she did. did. See they tried to. They tried to. They tried to sue her. They tried oh, yeah. to sue her. Oh yeah. Of course. Had the woman on TV. <laughs> like they put the ad. They were the one that put the ad on the TV. <laughs> you know what I mean, like, <laughs> like <laughs> we're gonna sue you now. Well, no, hmm. there was a documentary. Why did you put her on TV then? <laughs> like there was a documentary on her, eh? Mm. Where oh they, yeah. Where she thought she was really doing what she said she was doing. It was. <laughs> It was the people, but and someone was taking advantage of that, and uh, I'll look it up. In no, because she had to believe it. I mean, think about it. Cause oh it yeah, be on but TV. she didn't know that she was scamming people. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, ninety nine percent of the time when you called, you weren't talking to Miss Cleo. There's only one Miss Cleo. You think they only took one call at a time? 
You know what I mean? No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, but I thought like, you know, you have to make an appointment or something with me. You just call and wait. Wouldn't that be crazy? You see this commercial yeah. with the Jamaican lady and you call up and some dude with a uh, Indian accent answers. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you miss Cleo? He's like, yes. Oh, y'all, yeah, yes, you're yeah. crazy. Yep, I'm yeah. like, so voice automatic. With or, the, or, voice or, they could, or they, or they could have hired a bunch of like, these, like, I don't know, people with that type of accent. You I know, know what I'm saying. You know, accent, if, right? if they thought ahead, they probably would have. <laughs> yeah. But you know, everyone knows so in India. Said the, the economy went down when Cleo left. <laughs> and everyone, everyone got fired. <laughs> it was like fifty million people laid off. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's crazy. Cleo wouldn't tell no one the economy would do that. She's a psychic. Yeah. She's seen it coming. Why wouldn't she tell you? Cut up the economy down. They said we got to lay off about fifty thousand. People, sorry, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, that that's our top ten Canadian. So uh, yeah, yeah, we we'll yeah. do that at that. So we're Canadian rappers. We end with Miss Cleo. That's how we roll, right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Call me now. True, true story. Call me now. True story. <laughs> All right, now. So uh, to build on a previous topic, actually, it wasn't a previous topic. It was uh, just a conversation that came up off mic uh, last week or so. Top five travel destinations. Like, uh, that's what we want to talk about now. Like, because we were talking about the world. Like me, I want to see different parts of Asia, different parts of Africa and stuff like that. Um, other people prefer to, like, relax, max and relax on the beach and whatnot. You know what I mean? And I, I I'm prefer, I'm more into food and culture, right, than just relaxation. But um, that is what made me bring up this topic so I want to see where everybody else would like to go because y'all might have some destinations that I never even thought of. Yeah. Like, okay, maybe, yeah, maybe that would be good. So I did, uh, I wouldn't say extensive research on this. I only researched for about five days off and on uh, different things, uh, just getting different people's opinions on the country. Cause one thing I am uh, really on top of, and it's because I travel to the States and of course we see a lot of news from the States where they just murdering black people just for existing. So first thing I always like to research before I even think about going somewhere is how safe is these areas, right? For black people. Yeah. So yeah. All, all, all of my information is coming from a black uh, point of view. So it'd be like, this is what the black experience would be in these places. So just saying this in case there's people out there that hear what I'm saying. It's like, no, it's not like that. I was like, well, you know, if you're a white person, then yeah. It is different for you there, right? Um, I guess since I'm starting off, sorry, since I'm already talking, I'll start off. And I kind of have it in order. Now, my top five tourist destinations, or I should say travel destinations, um, I also give the reasons. As I already said, I'm all about food and culture, more than relaxation. So my number five is Copenhagen. You know what I mean? The, the Tivoli Gardens, Rosenborg Castle, and the food that they have over there. I'd love to just experience that different culture. Um, definitely have stuff that you ain't seen over in Halifax, Nova Scotia over there. So that's why Copenhagen made my list. Uh, that's number five. Number four is Athens, Greece. I just, um, I always like Greek mythology, right? So I want to see these, uh, th- there's a temple for Zeus over there. All kinds of, you know, how they have those cool green mm. columns and stuff. And, mm. uh, you know, a lot of stuff over there is ruins and stuff. But, you know, it, it, I was going between this and the Roman Colosseum, right? I'd also like to see that. But no, Athens has a little bit more for me. And I like Greek food a lot more than I like Italian food. So, yeah, yeah. A- Athens is my number four. My number yeah. three is more for personal reasons. And that's because my last name is Irish. So I'd like to go to Ireland and see Dublin. I have a cousin who has a whole Facebook page dedicated to the um, genealogy of our, our last name. So you can see where they're from. He actually went over to Ireland and found, you know, graves and plots and where our ancestors used to live. So I'd love to see that. Just to see that part of my history, right? Uh, my number two, of course, I go from the Irish part of me. So the number two, going to the African part of me. And that is Cairo, Egypt. Want to see the pyramids, want to see the museums, the Al Zayed Mosque. Like, there's so much history. Like, it's one of the oldest places in the world, if not 
the oldest. They say life started in Africa, right? So definitely want to go to Egypt and see that. And then my number one, and for culture and food, of course, is Kyoto, Japan. Now, it was for me, it was, I had three Asian countries that I, sorry, Asian cities I was on the fence. It was Seoul, South Korea, uh, Tokyo, Japan, and Kyoto, Japan. But I ended up going to Kyoto because it's, it has more of sites and more culture than I want to. Like Japan, uh, Tokyo is more modern. Like, you know, it's thriving in culture, but it, it's definitely more modern than Kyoto where you see more of the old-fashioned Japanese housing and all that stuff. So that's why I'd like to see there. So that's my list. Nice. Nice. So who wants to say right. Nando's next? Go ahead. Tigger, you want to go next? No, go ahead. Go, you, go ahead. you want me to go? Okay, I got to go. I'll go. Um, mine's in no particular order. Um, kind of this, a little bit uh, different from, you know, Big Philly. Um, my, mine's not, like, mine's about the culture too, but mine's more like, I, I'm more like the weather. Um, what attractions do I have to kind of go to? So I guess I'm on the same wavelength on that regard, but more like the weather. Um, and kind of what, what can I do there? You know what I mean? Like it needs to be nice for me the whole time. Um, so the ones that I, that I chose and there's no particular order. Um, and I'll tell you why I chose those and why I want to go to these places. Um, hold on one second here. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Right, right here. So, um, the first one I said, um, Abu Dhabi, like Dubai area, um, just because like, I like to see the infrastructure, right? Like what they've done, like what they did, what have they done to that desert? You know, the buildings that they have, um, once again, we got the food, the culture, like just the, just the city and like how we even navigate that city. Like just, oh, yeah. just a crazy, crazy spot. Yeah. The food's probably um, amazing. So the food is probably amazing. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be expensive there because everybody got massive amounts of money, whatever. But yeah. like, that's like a trip, like, like a bucket list trip to kind of go to, I kind of like go there and like spend a lot of time. Basically, that's almost like I would say that's like Las Vegas of the world. Like I've been to Vegas four times, you know what I mean, five times. But like this would be the Vegas like on like steroids, you know what I mean, kind of deal. Yeah. But but well, but, I, I but totally, at the end, I'm sorry. You mean? I just want to pick go up. Ahead, no. I, I do totally agree with that. I did look it up, and you can get some places that aren't too expensive. Uh, they did say yeah. because it is one of the most wealthy places in the world. Yeah, but it did also it, is, say, it, is it did also say that there's a lot of places there where, you know, they still got people working minimum wage jobs. So, oh, yeah, yeah. so yeah, there yeah. is still places, of course, that we like they have to be able to afford to live there. So they do got yeah. that. So it's not out of reach. So I I, I like your choice because that is something that could happen, and it's on your bucket list. No. So yeah, no, I, sooner than I'll later, get, right? Uh, yeah, I'll we'll probably get there. My sec my second one is uh, Texas. I like to go to Texas, man. Houston so, or I mean, Dallas? Go down there. Doesn't matter, man. Okay. Houston, Dallas, San Antonio. You know what I mean? And any any one of those areas, I'll be good with. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, just just a nice area. Like the weather's nice. Sporting events. You know, go to see the. You know, we can go see the Dallas Cowboys. Shout out to my brother Rock Jones. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Dallas Cowboys. I'm gonna go to San Antonio watch the Spurs. Oh, you know. No, um, I don't you know mean? why I never knew that San Antonio was. In. See, I don't know my. Yeah, you know I mean, go. Map, cause... but I'll tell you this: I'm scared of Texas. <laughs> no, you know, no, and that's too. Like, well, that well, that's what I'm gonna be too. Is like we get to actually the right to bear arms ourselves too, like take care of ourselves. So, like well, that's what I kind of like about it. You know what I mean? Like, well, as a Canadian, you know, I don't, I don't know what you can do because the thing is, no, the, Wu-Tang saying, I, 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 the Wu-Tang concert I went to, the Wu Tang concert I went to, right? We decided yeah. on Toronto on the end, but Dallas. I mean, I don't know if it was Dallas or Houston, but Texas was on the thing. And then I was like, it's just the news. I, 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 I know I could probably go down there and be fine. But when you turn on the news, it's like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Black person shot by cops and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, you're like, okay, I know I could probably be fine. But my chances are probably better if I just go to Toronto. So that's why we end up One thing, in Toronto instead. No, and, and, and that is true. I mean, that's good, whatever. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, man, I can't let stop stop from going to places I want to go because even in Dubai, because you end up doing the wrong thing, because you might get you know. Oh yeah, but it's the, not going to be good for you. Oh yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah. mean. So yep, at least in Texas, right. like you you're might right. get killed by the cops over there, do something wrong. You know what I mean, Actually, so that, that's I, I the did, only thing. You know what I mean? So I, I did look, and in, in Dubai is probably one that is, is safer than Texas because the laws over there are so strict, crime is so low. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, in Texas, um, maybe I cut you off before you got to mention it. No, go ahead, go ahead, brother. But the food. The yeah. food down there is probably, Oh, food's crazy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Food's crazy. The food you know is, I mean? is crazy. Yeah. And so, then if I want to go across the border and get my teeth fixed right in Mexico, you know what I mean? Just dip across, right? Get my <laughs> yeah. teeth fixed. You yeah. know what I mean? Get a good deal. You know what I mean? Right? Spend a couple thousand dollars. Boom. You know what I mean? I got all gold grills. You know what I mean? Good. You know what I mean? It's all good. So I, I got the best of both worlds on that one. Gold grills. Um, um, uh, <laughs> so so the, the, next, the next one I like to go, like, to actually go visit be like Miami. I like to go to Miami, man. Miami Beach. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just chill, man. Like, Good vibes, but be able to do whatever you want. I mean, according to the money you have on you, but I feel you there. I, mm-hmm. I, 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 um, I don't even know how to put this. I'm not a beach dude, but I kind of mm-hmm. would want to go there once to experience it. You know what I mean? That's Just to be time. like, I was in my there, bro. You know that what beach I mean? Just nice. I ain't gonna lie. So, yeah. so, but, I, but, but, but once that. again. And once again, it's not even just the beaches, though, because it's no, the attractions. Because you got you got Miami, your Miami Zoo, you got the Miami Dolphins, you got the, oh, you, got the, you know what I mean. The, and the Miami Nightlife, bro. Oh shit! Not all, cause oh, that's what I'm talking gross. about, bro. <laughs> you mean? Oh yeah, that's why I said I, I, I vibe, bro. I, I, I vibe. Like to, I'd like to experience mm-hmm. at least once. Mm-hmm. So that'd be my. That, I think that's that what I had to hear is my three, yep. third. My next was um, Mexico. I go back to Mexico in a heartbeat. Where at? That was probably one of my. Uh, I was in a Miami Riviera okay. once, and I think I was in, I forget the other place. I was, might have been Tulum or something. Oh, no, not Cancun. Or like, like, I don't no, know. I, I know nothing about Mexico. I just know what I heard, and Cancun's always I went, I, the, the one that I always I went, hear. Cancun's a, a spring break type of thing. Okay, bro. okay. Yeah, I've been to, Can, I've been to Cancun for like, a, like an excursion, but I never ever like went to like the resort in Cancun. Our resorts were always outside, whatever, the Riviera. But man, the pool was nice, it, the beaches were nice. Um, very very nice man. I like that. So Mexico, I go back there. Jamaica, cause I've never been there before. We were planning on going. I heard that. And I got shut down. I heard that's a jam. I heard Jamaica was crazy expensive, yeah. but it's nice. You know what I'm saying? Um, Are you going Egypt. See- what? Go, you say you go on Jamaica? You want to go to Jamaica? Yeah. So you want to go see Miss Cleo too? Okay. Oh yeah, I want to go see Miss Cleo. Yeah, I want to go check her. Well, I'm just trying to trying to help the economy because that's when she left. You know what I'm saying? Everything just kind of fell apart. And, no, but Jamaica, we I told by my you know um, Tony. He's been down there a couple of times. Shout out to my brother, my brother Tony. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's been down there a bunch of times. Like he, he loved it. We were all planning to go because it was like me, T Bone, Ra, all yeah, of us yeah, were yeah, going because it was like twelve, that. thirteen of us. Yeah, I heard. And then COVID, COVID hit. Us. Yeah, shut us all down, blue man. So we were like, yo, it was like like a boat a month away planning to go. Anyway, we'll go. We'll go again. But we're going to do a men's trip ourselves either way. Whatever yeah, yeah, we'll for sure, out. for sure. Right. Um, and then you said Egypt? Uh, Egypt was the next one. Lagos, Nigeria. Oh, you got, oh, you got more than five. Yeah, Lagos, Nigeria. So uh, I, I want to say, there. what about Egypt? What's your attractions there? Is it the same things I said? Egypt, or do you e- have other Egypt is just, Egypt is just basically, it's, it's the pyramids, of course, whatever, okay, but I just yeah, want to yeah. kind of see, like, I want to see kind of where, you know, things kind of started, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. that's where kind of civilization, kind of civilization civilization came from Egypt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, I want to see all that stuff and kind of see like what, you know, the museums and like what's going on and like how the city was kind of put together, like the food, you know what I mean? And my buddy, remember Wally? Remember Wally, bro? Shout out to Wally because from Halifax, because like he was our, he was working at the casino. I think I met him before because he's from Egypt because good dude. You know what I mean? Tank was something. Tank was Egyptian, tank, remember? Tank was Egyptian. Tank was Egyptian too, guys. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Tank was Egyptian. Shout out to Tank as well. I, why do we say that? It's like he gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tank is a No, no, <laughs> but he, no, he is, he is, he is. Yeah, he is. True, true. Yeah, that's my but bad. That. I'm the one that said was. Like it's past no, it's it. No, so he still is. And then uh, Lagos. Um, Lagos, Nigeria. That's like one of the, that, that, Lagos is like one of the biggest cities in Nigeria. Well, it's the biggest city because you know, you're talking about that being like the next, like Silicon Valley because, like, okay. you know what I mean? Like, it's like the city's crazy because I'm about to, all the tech's going to be over there, all like like Microsoft and all this shit over there. Yeah, that's you know the what thing what that people because people have this like like old school view of Africa. They think that all Africa mm. is jungles and bushes. Not no more. 
They all think everything. No. They, they all think Africa's Wakanda no. now. It never was. It's it closer, never was. It's, it's closer to, to Wakanda was, than it is to the other put, thing, though. But that's but it, that's what they put in in, in, in the schools, right? And, yeah. and all, no, no, exactly. well, they, no. Well, because that's because what that's, they want us to think. Mm, I don't want to get mm, in a racial mm, thing, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm, mm, like like Joey just said, that's what they put out there. I, I don't want to build too much mm, on that. They, you know, don't want to open that. Thing. <laughs> yeah, I know no, what you're saying. saying. I know what you're saying. But that's and, and, and that's why and that's why people don't want to go visit because they're like, yo, man, I don't want to stay in no hut. It, no, because they have cities no. that are, we're in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Yeah, they almost every country in Africa has a city bigger than us. Bro, back. Nova back, Scotia bro. fits in the very bottom of fucking Africa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like I almost I, I almost added a like uh, Madagascar. And South Africa and um, Djibouti oh, to my list. Like, oh man! Like I'm telling you, like, it's a crazy. Co- and you know, what I know what's cooler over there is that what? things are not as expensive as over here. No, like when we're going yeah. to Dubai, yeah, like you said, it's probably more expensive than here. Yes, mm. it's actually, even Asia is cheaper. But in Africa, uh, things that I've heard, your dollar will stretch a lot more. Mm. Yeah, nice. Yeah, well, yo, I'm gonna to to say the next. My next ones. I'm gonna give my next ones quick. Yeah, I mean, you. So got, Van, I know we said five. <laughs> Van, sorry, you are number eight right now. <laughs> Van, Vancouver, right? Vancouver, right? Was my next one. I'm gonna go quickly because Vancouver. I just want to go west. I've never been to the west coast. My, my right? ex so was on there said good things about that. Yeah. So I think you that one. Toronto again. I love Toronto anyway. Because we go like to Toronto. Back we go, we going to Toronto in a few couple months. I Hopefully, hope. yeah. Oh man, okay, man. Have a good sure. trip, man. It, it'll, be, it'll only be my third time there. But have you been? You've been. What do you guys you do? What do you guys do up there? You had to have gone to Toronto before, Joe. I ain't sure yet. I've been up there a couple times. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it, man. Couple times. Yeah. Might just be a shopping trip, yeah. bro. Because because I I get amazed by the little things, eh? I'm I'm happy. Well, I'm, I'm so happy that there's a subway, cause. Like you, oh, you mean, you know, to, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. You, you, mm-hmm. you go down the steps, bing, bang, bang. Twenty minutes, Gone. you're like an hour away. <laughs> like you know yeah. what I mean. Although on the flip no, me, side, me you too, probably I, on the flip side, I bet you no one out there has an excuse to be late for work. Hey, oh no, you do, <laughs> yeah, you do, bro. Because yeah. that subway go, closes quick. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> it was. Oh, we did have one experience when we were on the subway, and did that thing where it just stops. And the mm-hmm. guy conducted and stuff ain't saying why you just stop. You just here like chilling, like okay. Right. But then it started up again. But man, I'm telling you, yeah, Toronto was dope. And yeah. we stayed out, a little outside of the like the main downtown, right? But yeah, still, yeah. it had because there was so many Ethiopian stores, so many like the culture, so many Greek. Like we are in like Toronto's very cultured all together. Very diverse. Oh, yeah, Toronto, yeah, yeah. Very that's diverse. why that's why a lot of people that like like uh you know, they're able to attract a lot of international players because they they you know what I mean? They're there, oh, yeah, they, they're they get awesome. everything, they get the food, you know what I mean? You you're getting oh. I don't know, Lebanese food, you know, Asian food. You want whatever to know what's it, funny you know though? What I mean? You want what's funny? Well, is so, that we went down so. there, right? And uh Raekwon, Raekwon the chef from Wu Tang Clan, he has a store down there called mm-hmm. uh it's called the Purple Shop or something like that. Um, mm. I want that. Of course, you know that was on my bucket list. We were down there. We want to do yeah. it. Um, my girl wanted to go to this Thai place. It was a Northern Thai because up here we always get Southern Thai food. But it was Northern Thai, yeah. right? Yeah. So we went there. Mm. Food was amazing. But instead of yeah. uh, taking the you know bus or something, I was like, let's just walk to it. It says it's only like twenty minutes. We get to see the city. Yeah. Yep. And walk through it because we walk through the hood, and that's where the Raekwon shop is because. Man, we started walking. Sure nice. A lot of people. Nice. I'm sorry. Okay. Then we started seeing the more more strip clubs. More poop on the ground. Okay. Then all of a sudden, more people sleeping on the ground. Okay. More people yelling and getting aggressive for each other. And I swear, fights was breaking out. We're like, okay. Then we get there. And in the store, it was like a barber shop slash store. And not, there was nothing I seen online was there in the store. Right? <laughs> Because you just killed me. Because so we just killed me on that one. Yeah, okay, go on. Carry, on. carry on. Carry so, on. So, so, so we're in. So we're in the store. Need a play by play in the whole walk. Because we're on Keep the going. world just to see yeah. that. Thing. I know. Yeah, I know. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, went, we went. on. We, we went on. on that, <laughs> <laughs> we went on a thirty minute <laughs> trip to go to a store. <laughs> they had nothing. Because it's been on a Joey rant. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like, oh my god! All right. All right. So anyway, and that's where I see the boy. That's why I seen Papa Ooh, Graham. Who's, who's your boy? Oh, you see Papa? Yeah, Papa. yeah he was there cutting hair. 
Shout out to hey, Papa. You know it's Shout a bad neighborhood when you go up to the door, right? And you try and open the door, you <laughs> can't. Gus took the tour, ended up in Papa Grant's store. Yes. Out of all Toronto. Yes. Out of all Toronto. Yeah. Yo, yeah, cuz. I know you people. Yes. Just, uh, I'm in the hood, and then all of a sudden, hey, I know you, Papa. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of, <laughs> that's how I felt. I was like, what, what, are the what, cha- the what are the chances, cuz? What are the chances, cuz? What are the chances, I, I don't know, cuz. I was like looking, cuz it threw me oh off, cuz. He works He works at the purple to- shop, cuz. He works at wow. Rickon shop, cuz. Wow. Wow. And I was wow. like, yeah. Wow. Like, that what was the you... proper bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, you made us. This was, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cut. This was what? Seven million people. Yeah. <laughs> just walking over. Just walking Oh, yeah. shit. Papa. He just the door. <laughs> wow. Okay, buddy. Oh, yeah. Gosh. All right. It was That's crazy. True. Then on the way. Yeah, yeah that yeah. is crazy. It, it, yeah, yeah. True. So, Ooh. yeah, that was. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, All right. But I still want to go back. Enough. All right, Joey, number three. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Guys, sorry. sorry that okay. was, 31, that, 31. That was 31. So, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I do. I said it was Toronto, and I think I, my last one actually was Dominican, I think. Yeah, Dominican, oh, yeah, yeah Dominican. Nice I want to go back to Mitch. Go back to Dominican, guys. Yeah, it's nice, too. I love, I love Dominican, because love yeah. it. Cause What's love the food it. like, though? Food, because the best food down there right now, but I've been down there, is Mexico. Mexico has the best food, guys. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I heard like, that. Like, like, the more, I mean? Well, go ahead, bro. You know what used Never to be mind. on my list, but then I heard the food is right. awful. Cuba, Cuba food is horrible. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's what, what most heard. some people some people really really like it though. Some yeah, really yeah. really well, like my, it. My friend's I mean, wife has been there, and he said, yeah. and he's been down there a few times. He's like, yeah, the food is awful. Well, they can't. What, what one of the things is they can't ship nothing in. I know. Yeah. No season, embargo, right? <laughs> right. So they can't ship nothing in, right? So everything got to come from the island. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right, we're like the other places ship stuff in. So Mexico is my top food place. Dominican's kind of in the middle because it's like, all right, whatever. Oh, Mexico's your but top? Okay. The Mexico will be the top just for like for me being that because so, I mean like under the place I've been. You know what I mean? Mm. But Dominican's good because because but Dominican what the Dominican has because it's okay beaches. They say Cuba got the best beaches. So like that you got to pick your poison. You want the best beach, the sucky food. You want okay beach and okay food. Well, you know, you, know what I mean? you want you, know, you want Mexico with like the best food. <laughs> The Mexico is the best food and beach. Ah, you yeah, know what exactly. I mean? I don't care about you beaches, mean? so you know Their what? Beaches pretty much so, up here, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you know where my choice goes. Mm-hmm. All right, Tigger. Like the, was was that your last like, one? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm that was my. Oh, you got no, 16 no, more? Because I'm 82 that, now. That, 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 was <laughs> <laughs> that was my last one. That was my last one. That was my last one. Because name every place in the world. <laughs> no, I don't even think he named anywhere in Europe, though. No, shut I didn't. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Yeah. Europe, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I told I you. Shut that I'm down. Not going over here, <laughs> All right. I'm not going to Europe. Sorry. Good. Okay. Soon okay. here. All right. All right. Fucking England. Oh, Soon over England. He did cross the seas, though. He did go to Egypt, so yeah, yeah. it's all good. Oh, yeah. That's the only one yeah. overseas. Yeah. No, no, in Lagos. Oh, yeah, in Lagos. In- Lagos. But that's, uh, that's Africa, though. That's not like the Midwest. Yeah. You know I mean? The middle. Exactly. I mean, well, still overseas. Yeah. Cool. I like to climb Mount Everest. That's what I would like to climb. By you should yourself? climb Mount Everest, guys. No, come with me, guys. Somebody come with me. By yourself, guys. Yeah, he'll go with you, guys. Uh, come on, guys. I'll, I'll, watch, you I'll watch it on TV, but you, you oh, should go. Man, you should yeah. go. five minutes of walking, I'm no. walking back down the hill. Guys, let's go climb Mount Everest, guys. Let's do that. <laughs> let's do that, guys. I mean, let's make a, let's make a video of that. Shit. Hey, because you go do it. I'll put it on I'll put it on my on my, my, my channel, so, you know, I'll promote it. Okay. I won't be there. Okay. But I'll promote to you. Too. You're not going to come up. <laughs> no, no, coming, no. Guys. no. Anyway. Oh, sorry, cuz. I got sidetracked. Carry on. Cause. Go, 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 Tigger. Go, right. Tigger, cuz. So, uh, this ain't no particular order, but I'm just going to say this one first just because we all said it, and that was Egypt. I mean, I'm trying to go see Egypt. And the reason I'm trying to go see Egypt is because uh, I got a lot of family heritage that came from there from way back when, right? So, yeah. I had to go check all that there, see if I can get some of that gold. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, after that, staying over around that way, I like to go to Thailand. I hear a lot of good things about it. You know what I mean? So, and before Philip starts asking me where we're at and all these here places, I want to see it all. I don't give a shit. I, I hit every fucking city up. Oh, you want to go old school? <laughs> you want to backpack across oh, Thailand? Yeah, I hit all the cities up, bro. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? You know, if you were to backpack, mm. I'd pick Thailand over yeah. over Europe. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, after that, there. Once again, it comes down to heritage. Got a lot of heritage down there, and that's Puerto Rico. So, 
Let's go check that out and see where some of the roots come from down there. I mean, cause over here singing my mm. shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait, sing it. Yeah, cause over here singing that's the Puerto Rico song, bro. Remember Puerto Rico? Oh, yeah. Puerto Rico. Puerto but again, oh, I, I, heard, oh. I heard with Puerto Rico is the same as uh, with the same as Colombia. Like the food ain't that good, right? So you mean Cuba? Oh, uh, Cuba. Sorry. Yeah. Don't. Same with yeah. Cuba. Colombia is yeah. is dope. That I that almost I mean, made my list. Sorry, I meant to say Cuba, but yeah, I heard the food ain't that great, but uh. Beaches is fucking wild down there, they say. All right. Uh, after that day, I want to go to Brazil. I like to go check that there, bro. I, want, I always wanted to see that big, like, even though I'm Muslim, I always wanted to see that big Jesus piece, though. Is that in Rio? Yeah. Yeah, Rio's different. See, you know what? Yeah. You know what's funny? This is me. Like, I'm on the journey. Everyone's on a journey to learn knowledge, right? Yeah. For yeah. me, for some reason, Brazil's in South America. Yeah. I assume they spoke... Spanish, so I started learning Spanish because I always wanted to go to Brazil. So you didn't know they spoke Portuguese. They speak Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I I learned a little bit of Spanish for no reason. Well, they uh, they speak a little bit that down there too, though. Yeah, but the main language is Portuguese. Is Portuguese. Yeah, right. and I heard, and I want to go down there until I heard about the crime stuff because the crime always gets me off. Oh, but shit. you know, as we already said, you mind your business, you'd be fine. But then again, it, it was a what. Mm-hmm. Don't be a shook one, one. Don't be a shook one, guys. Be a crook, son. No, come I, on, come on, done. I'd rather come be, on, done. I'd rather be, I'd rather be shook than done. Oh, you're shook. You know, I'm too old. It's God's plan, cuz. If you go there and you get God, you get God, cuz. It's God's plan. You got no, you got no say when you go. We have no say. We have no say when we go, cuz. But I, I, I can't, I can't. I, I mean, I can I die right here. Well, yeah, I, mean, I guess you'd have to believe I mean, in God to think that way, though. So I. No, but no. I, 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 Anyway, yeah, sorry, go. sorry, cuz. My bad. He does the list. So, I mean, so, okay, but okay, that's okay. a good thing. Okay. I do want to go there too. Yeah, so why I said Puerto Rico, Egypt, Thailand, Brazil. Oh. Uh, so my last one. I only got one left. Yeah, I'm not like Joey. I only got 42 of them, guys. I only got five. <laughs> okay. know what I mean, because I, I said, like, I only said four because you guys said it three times over. <laughs> <laughs> that so, everywhere. My <laughs> last one is because I've been there, and to me, the best beaches that you ever would lay on the best hospitality some of the greatest people in the world and it's hawaii hawaii so, yeah be dope. yeah I, yeah i'd, I'd, I'd be dope i'd mm. go there you know why i'd go there is because a lot of these places i hear you know the beach and the sand and the heat and i'm not down with that but i hear from what i've seen hawaii gets a lot of rain and rain is mm. my I, you might think i'm crazy but rain, rain is my favorite weather I like the rain. So I like rain. No more. I do because this nigga don't want to go in the pool, but wants to be soaked all the time. Anyway, who said I'm gonna? <laughs> I, I said I like rain. I didn't say I'm standing in it. <laughs> I said I like the rain. Yeah. Next they, time, hey, next time, next time it's pouring rain, because I want you to stand outside. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Said, go cause I, you like the I, rain, I, do you? I said go I like the rain. The rain, cause I want to show here. I said I like the rain. Didn't say I like being wet. I like being under the. Uh, well, like, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. So that sounds. You like the sound of the rain. Yeah, yeah. I like the sound. I like the sound of the rain. And I and I like like you know what. It's here's a situation when you're having a smoke and you're in an awning and you're just mm. under the thing, you ain't getting wet, but you hear the rain all around you and stuff. I don't, it, I just yeah. like that. Like, even when we did music back in the day, some of, the, yeah. some of my, my best music and best hooks and stuff I wrote was when I was in the shower. It's just something about the falling true, water true. I like. Yeah. That's what I like. It's like soothing. It's like soothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, yeah. man. No, so, that's, yes. that's good. So, man. I love the rain. Mm. I don't like getting soaked. <laughs> I okay, didn't say you don't like that. Wet, okay. I thought you were like you want to stay on the rain. No, hey, let, let me finish like, my thought. He thought I was gonna. Well, <laughs> he's he talking about the boys. We're this talking about, about the like, rain. Like we like, like we like the sound. I'm just trying to finish my thought though. I'm trying to finish what I had to say about Hawaii, but both you niggas are chimed in. Because Joey trying to say I'm boys the men singing in the rain. You was the one talking about like the rain and shit. Because Cuz said, let me cut you off so I can talk about the rain. Oh, that's good. The rain to, you you <laughs> pick the place that rains the most. No, fuck, cause I, let me cut you off. Cause I didn't talk about okay. the volcanoes you showed it. Cause I'm gonna talk about the rain. Why I'm would gonna, I talk? I don't want to be in a volcano. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Like I say, I love volcanoes. Cause anyway, I love. So you know how lava. most of the time, like y'all, y'all, y'all will stay on the resorts and shit like that. There, cause a lot of okay, people. Okay. Scared, I mean, like go. a lot of people scared to go into the actual cities and and the yeah. land and shit. Right? Yeah. Hawaii is one of the most friendliest places. Like off off resort that you can go, bro. I've never been greeted 
like so walkably before. Like I was literally just walking down the street. I mean, smelt the what's it called? You know when they put the pig in the ground and shit. Yeah. Right, the roasted pig. Smelt that shit and just fucking wandered over, wanted to know what it was. Wandered into a backyard and they was having a block party. I was like, oh shit, I'm in trouble. Not that I mean, bro. When they say Simone's are big, Simone's are big. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So they just yeah. looked at me. I looked back at them. And they just said, come here. So I was like, fuck, I got to go because I ain't running from all these motherfuckers. Yeah. Went over and yeah. like, I mean, introduced myself. They introduced themselves and guys, I was sitting there party, but don't party with Simone's because they, they party for like two days straight because it hurts. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, that was two days straight. When were, you down, when were you down there? Cause Bro, I was when down, you there, down there. I was down there. <sighs> Shit, fucking ninety eight, ninety nine, somewhere around there. Okay, yeah, bro, man. I went. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I went for a weekend and stayed I two knew, weeks. I know you're down there. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I, okay, I escaped the city That's for dope. a minute. I mean, yeah, because I was supposed to go down for a weekend, guys. I was there for two weeks. Just hanging out with oh, the show, right? Because I didn't want, yeah. I didn't want to come back. It's like you know how you ever see on them shows where uh, someone goes on vacation, they enjoy themselves so much. It's like, oh, I want to move here. Cause yeah, I want to live here. That, yeah. was, that was that for me. Yeah, I mean? well, that's so, that's, dope. that's how I was in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because you can keep the windy city. Oh, you yeah. I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying because likes like, rain. Yeah. I don't like cold ass wind like that. I ain't had that feeling yet because about not wanting to stay, just stay somewhere yet. But no. I like to move somewhere. Oh, oh that's cool. But so like, he had that in Hawaii. I had that in Chicago. Yeah. And you ain't mm-hmm. had that yet. I was probably nah. you had that in Toronto. I like, I, no, no, but like not to move here. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Maybe no, later. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. but like I right now talk, to uh, yeah. show here. I like to hear where I'm at, just hanging out in the cut. Because mm. you know? uh, mm. Tigger doesn't like New York. So if we ever get in a situation where you can travel to the States, I'd, I'd like you guys come to uh, not only come to Chicago, but come to the hotel I stayed in because they have a happy hour, free alcohol. Damn. <laughs> free. Damn. free you, alcohol. Want, you want to know how free it is, Cuz? Um, <laughs> that we went out, th- we, we went down there and I was staying in one place and a couple of friends were playing at a different place. I bring my friends over to my hotel and they were, oh, you're going to go get some of the free alcohol. Now, Gee. you could tip. But you know, tip a dollar. You could be an asshole, and not tip at all. You still get free alcohol. But yeah, all you can drink for an hour, free. Cause it's free alcohol, man. At, at your hotel. Cause got every nigga in fucking AA right now going down to Chicago. Cause yeah, go to Chicago. <laughs> hey, I'll even shout it out. It's the Kenzie Hotel. It's across the street from this um, restaurant that's by this like sports hall of fame type guy. That if I knew, the, if I said the name, both Tigga and Joey would know who it was. I'm not a sports person, so I can't remember. Sports Hall of Fame type guy. Yep. That was very. Yep, that's all I know. You go in and you see all the pictures with all these things. What's He's sports, a big. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you guys talk about something right now, <laughs> and I'm and I'm going to look it up. All right. Because okay. don't even know what sport it was. Cause did he have a yeah. baseball glove on? Did he have a basketball on his yeah. hand? Football on his hand? Hockey Cause stick? I, I, I do. Because I ain't gonna lie to you, Philika. If you want to do Chicago, I do Chicago with you, bro. I can do Chicago. I do Chicago with you, guys. I've been there I do before. Chicago with you. But for me, if I'm going, because I got to go see some sporting events, because I want to go see the Bears or something. I'm, I'm cool with that, guys. Let's go. Maybe we do some, like, we, we, we do, we're going to do it, because I do want to, like, plant, like, we right. do your stuff, hey, too. Hey, like, hey, we hey, want to no, do here, that, whatever. Here, here's cool. what we'll do, Joey. Here we go. Mm, um, mm. I'll be in charge of the food places. You be, guys, okay. be in charge of the sports. Nigga, I'm not going okay. to no football game, because it's too cold right. down there, because... You it's not, you're not going it's not in the cold summertime, cause nah. nigga. I've been in Chicago Canada, three cause. times, bro. Because <laughs> no, we were in Canada, because yeah. we we can go, we can go, to, we can go to like we won't. If we did go, it'd be like let's say in the September or something. So like at least, yeah. You know what I mean? It's oh not yeah, when I went, it's it's when end, we cause. went, it was uh, one of the J month, July. Was it July? I think it was July. It was, yeah, we went. It was too hot. That's Just baseball. That's baseball. Yeah, it's baseball season. Baseball yeah, but see, this nigga likes rain and cold, right? So, yeah, so we got to do a football game though in the rain and the cold. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hey, I, I, I looked it up. He's actually um, a sports announcer. Sorry, Harry okay. Carey. Harry Carey. Yeah, Harry Carey. Yeah, okay. Major League Baseball. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, that it's his restaurant. No, no wonder because didn't know what sport it was because it's not yeah. really a sport. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, anyway, sports related. Yeah, sports related. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because when they have a baseball, so who, who, 
Who were you in Chicago with? Guys, what were you down there with? Who me? Who me? No, Phil. Phil State was in Chicago. Oh, last we'll, time. We'll, we'll talk after this, cuz I ain't got to put that out there. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because we never thought this conversation was open. No, we got the conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. out because we can't. Okay. Yeah. we can't bring okay. up why he was in Chicago. Can't divulge can't, 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 can't um, information. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. it's not withhold okay. information, bro. We just can't say it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Anyway, okay. okay. <laughs> anyway. okay. He was coming good. Coming anyway. right off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, y'all was talking about it. I well, felt, felt like we was on Malcolm X. Keep your hand on my pocket, nigga. <laughs> Guys, did you not see how fast I started laughing when you asked that question? We can't put we can't put, we can't put that off. information on the air, bro. <laughs> put your hand on my pocket. <laughs> oh, it was good time, right. though. All it was right, good I time. got you. And good eats. Oh, good, and good. they're known for the good hot dogs. Okay. And I went and tried them, and it was good. Um, we were going to go to this high end steak place, but we only went for like four days. And if okay. we go, we got to go for at least a week, man. There's so much to see. No, because we're gonna make we'll make a event of it, man. It'd be nice. Mm. It'd be nice to get, if, if it. Would you, would you mind if we got even more brothers to come? Cause? Oh fuck yeah! Cause oh, yeah, yeah, we got Cairo, oh, yeah. we got Tate, oh, and like, another we, another we, thing we, we got to do. Like, we got to hit up a comedy club. You guys want to yeah, do out? I want to hit up a comedy club. Yeah, yeah and what I mean. like, at least man, one at least one do? live music venue too. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. You okay. got me, cause you got me. Let's do it. Let's do it. September. Next September. Let's plan. Let's start making a plan. Uh, actually, I don't know if you can do big. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll talk off mic. We'll see because we'll we're already doing exactly Toronto this year yeah. for sure, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. You so, guys are going up there. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, two big trips in one day. Uh, Toronto ain't no big ass trip. Toronto's <laughs> a couple minutes. <laughs> what? That's, that, that's how, Toronto's only a couple minutes. Cause yeah, but I mean, like, I, I mean, like money spending. If you don't think yeah, I can spend all true. my money down there, I, I'll turn to Bruno Mars and say, "Don't believe me, just watch." I'm going to just watch. <laughs> Yo, this nigga has so many corny jokes tonight, cuz what the fuck? <laughs> you know I don't like corn. Cuz <laughs> cuz reading all the it's, dad uh, jokes tonight, cuz all the dad. You got them all written down right in front of him. Just the punchline. Well, cuz I looked at I looked at our demographics. Shout out to Joe. I looked Shout at our demographics, Joe. right? <laughs> I looked at our demographics and had to see, and I seen our demographics and, and all the people listen to it. I had they got to feel included, right? Like I, say, I, I, I can't true, just be on here with skinny jeans and moonwalks or whatever. That, that is true. That is true. That is true. I'm gonna bring out the dad jokes for the old folk. Yeah. That's true. That's no, true. not for the old no, folk. Good looking. Good for looking. the middle aged to young folk. Yeah, we good. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, it's all true. Oh, shit. Hey, hold on though. We gotta go. The ticker, the ticker, the ticker, hey, ticker, you got more? Or was that it? I don't really got more, more, but I know it was like there's a few places I want to go back to. Yeah, he can count I mean. to five. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> same as no, you. No, but uh, that was that was five though. That was five. That was yeah, five. That was five. But the same as you. Yeah. I like to go. Okay. Like I like to go back up to Toronto. I like to go back down Cali. You know what I mean? I like yeah, to go. Yeah, I like yeah. to go to Vegas one more time. Swing through friggin' Vegas, uh, Vegas be dope too. Yeah, Vegas be yeah, dope. Yeah, Vegas, Vegas be real good. Oh, oh Venice, mean? Italy is that on you? Oh, I know one that Tigger huh. mentioned, but I know he'd go to where Philippines. Yeah, I go to Philippines. I go yeah. to Philippines. You know where I really want to go is only because. So since I started working up, bro, I've been craving food like friggin' crazy. You know, what I've been craving a wow. real Philadelphia cheesesteak. I love to go back to Philly. Oh, to get really? One of those. Oh yeah, yeah, Philly, Philly be dope, bro. Yeah. We almost went there. That was all, one that, another option mm. for the Wu Tang concert. We almost yeah. went there, but yeah. then again, the news scared me away. I'm like, you know, going down there, walking to the Philly cheesesteak, and the cop look at me like, "Why are you here?" And then all of a sudden, I'm in the chokehold, bro. <laughs> man, you can't let the state scare don't be a, you. Don't be, don't be a shook one, cuz I told you, man, be shook one. You ain't a crook one. one. I'm staying over there. You ain't a crook son. You a shook one. I mean, come on, cuz. Come on, cuz. Neither was Mr. Done. Nichols, cuz. He wasn't the crook or, or not. Come on, cuz. He was just trying to drive home. He's chuck, cuz. Let's go. It happens. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Roll out. It happens. You did. Oh, well. Optimus Prime, cuz. Optimus Prime. No. And like you two, Joe, like, I, I want to travel out west in Canada, bro. I ain't never been out that way. Yeah, I, I, used, might, I, I used to, to always say, I used say it all the time, man. Like, I travel so much in the States, and yet I ain't never been west of our country. So, cause Calgary is a beautiful city, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> Calgary, though, cuz, it's mm. probably, I've been to Toronto. I've been to, like, you know, not Vancouver or West, but I've been to Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal. Yeah. I Calgary is probably my, my, but, like, there's, like, one of my favorite cities, cuz. Mm. No nice and clean, cuz, but, like, just a beautiful, like, yeah. 
yeah, you know, yeah. right close to the mountains and stuff, because like the highway system is nice. Even though the highway system in Florida was like even better, bro. The highway system in Florida was just like it's so easy to navigate. Yeah, it is. Eight, nine lanes, just flying, everything lit up. Oh man, like anyway, that's just me ranting for a minute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, does Florida have a subway system? Or are they too close no. to the water? Kind of like us. I'm not sure about the water situation. I just don't know that we got a subway system. But their highway system is so good though. Yeah, they don't like you that. can get anywhere. You can get anywhere really easy. Like I was in a stadium with like twenty thousand people, watched a basketball game, seen King James, and got all the parking and all the highway in like five minutes, bro. Yeah. Boom, boom, down yeah. the highway, gone. Oh, that's you know what I mean. Like it's it, it, everything is so easy. Like it's for some reason I don't know how they do it. They run through the whole. Because they don't make mazes. Because no. up here's a fucking maze to go anywhere. Down I know. there, the, I know. A straight fucking line. Know yeah. What I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that's like dope. You, I can yeah. tell you that that wasn't the case when I was in Chicago because. I didn't think we were yeah. gonna make our flight when we were going to the airport. Traffic is like oh, crazy. Tra- traffic is crazy, and even yeah, mm-hmm. and like they got the city bikes and all that stuff. But yeah, even getting a cab, like there's one point where we just decide to walk. It's easier to just walk than to get a cab. And then we got a cab because and the guy didn't know where he was going. Me, I'm on my phone. I got the <laughs> GPS. I'm looking at us getting further away from my hotel. I'm like, um, all right then. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know. All right. Yeah. Would you go to? Would you go to Chicago? I go back to Chicago. Yeah. All right. Who me? No, no. I, I, argue, just I already know you. In. That's why I wasn't talking to you because I know you in. I'm sorry. I had to bring the other guy in sorry. too, so all of us. Okay, are okay. And well, he just, gotta be warm because I'm not going. Okay, we'll go there. Because <laughs> you know, I there's two things I don't. I I like the happy medium. I don't like the heat. I might feel the- and I don't like the cold. But see, with me, I love, I, I feel like, bro, I love the heat, I love the weather, but I'm also about the culture, too. So, like, for example, we had September, I'm both, the, like you said, the food, oh, yeah. the events, Cause, you know, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Cause I want, that's what I, I know. want, I want, yeah, to, I yeah. want to experience the shit. And guess what, you guys, like, you guys are going to think I'm crazy when I tell you this one. You want to know how much I'm about the food and the culture, about the food? I spent, like, before I went to Chicago, about two to three weeks looking up reviews, looking up every inch... Every restaurant in there and rating them and stuff. I had a graph. I had a freaking Excel spreadsheet, cuz. <laughs> we need you. I, I, we I, need I had you, an Excel cause. spreadsheet. We you know need what? You. you know how it started, no, cuz? Cuz. I had go. an Excel spreadsheet let's on go. food, cuz. And I had, the, I had the top 40 places. Then this I see guy how, is many, the goat. how many times? We, and no. then I was like, how many meals are there, right? Yeah. There's breakfast, because. lunch, and supper, right? I was like, okay, well, wow. which place that has this? Okay. What has the best this? What has the best this? Because I was. I'm serious, cuz. You know, yeah, close yeah. to you. Close yeah, to you. Yeah. Anyone want to say that? I don't mean, research stuff. Mm, come, mm. come check my spreadsheets, cuz. I had, mm. I got a spreadsheet for New Orleans that we didn't get to use because COVID fucked it up. Because we were going to go to New well, Orleans on in 2020. I had a spreadsheet. I was looking forward to all this food, cuz, because all these. Re- we'll yep. do the same and, thing. And then we didn't we'll do get the same to go. thing, cuz. Yeah, cuz. I'm we'll telling you. Do the same thing. I'm telling you, cuz wherever we go. Don't worry about food. If you want, like, you want to eat yeah. tomorrow, I got you, cuz. You, you know I'll, what we're going to do? It, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I, I said the only thing I'll, when you say where we eating, the only thing I'll ask, what you feel like. You say what? Uh, bing, bing. I got six options for you, cuz. Let's go. Because you know what we should do? You know what hey, you know we doing, too, bro? If we, can, if we can get our shit across the border, cuz. Because mm. we podcast every fucking night, cuz. The you only thing is, is that if they allow, night, if, if they allow me to take the equipment, and they don't fuck you it know, up. They take the equipment because if you call the border, whatever we park every night. Because yeah. we 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 do every when we do it the, like the every food eating spot, boom boom boom, bro. And let's go. You know what? Let's go anyway. I mean, you know what? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Um. I got some stuff to look into. I'll talk off camera. Yeah. That's no, I, talk off I, camera. I, right I'm already visualizing what I, 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 what I can do to accommodate that. But yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, yeah. So you got our best places. So uh, we have, man, did any of, yeah, I had some Europe. So we got Europe, we got Africa, got Asia. Cribbins. Oh, shoot, no one said nothing about Australia, man. We leaving out the whole continent. Nigga ain't going to Australia? Yeah. You crazy? Australia is not a place I don't really think I, I ain't trying like to visit, to be. bro. No, bro. You I know mean, what's funny? I don't know. <laughs> you know what's funny, cuz? I, 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 I feel you. I looked it up and it is safe, but still, I was like, for some reason, when Australia, I was like, nah, I ain't trying to get eaten by no 
The cricket. wild animal. It, it, but <laughs> yeah. Cricket, because. Like, but it ain't even like that. But still, it didn't make my oh, list. Oh, no, it's like that. I got a girl at work, bro. She from Australia, and she'll tell you, them motherfucking things is huge. She yeah. said the cricket the same size as her hand, bro. Her hand's like fucking six inches. I ain't dealing with no six inch cricket, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but it all depends where you're from, guys. Oh, you, know, you know, I bet you there's someone in a foreign country right now saying, I ain't going to Canada. Ain't no grizzly getting me. I don't blame them. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I ain't no moose. Them. They'd be like, moose just come. Because when I went to Virginia, for, for real, mm. me and Dewan went, uh, went to uh, get some smokes. And uh, bumped into these girls. Cause it's right on the one. Cause it's right, right. Cause it, was, it was like 25 years ago. Cause so on Vernon still beat his ass. Oh uh-huh. well, it is what it is. Oh man. Anyways, anyways, bumped oh, these man. girls. For some reason, it came out that we we're Canadian. She's like, "Oh, you guys live in Inglewood out there, don't you?" I'm like, "This is for real." I was like, "No, we we live in houses." So like, "No, nah, Canadians, all the cold. How do you live in houses when it's all ice up there?" I was like, "Okay." That's why I opened my mind to, okay, everyone has stereotypes about everywhere. everywhere bro. <laughs> it's everywhere. crazy like that. And, and the funny thing, I didn't get over my stereotype yet for Australia because I'm still like, uh, eh. no, but, but I know it wouldn't be like that, but you got to get over those fears. And, in, 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 you know, I got to stop watching the news or I'll never go to the States. Exactly. Well, I think a lot of it comes down to, too, bro, it's like, for example, yeah, you're right. It's news. You know I mean, what what they put on the news or what you see on the news. You know what I mean, so that's why mm. you know what I mean. You don't you get scared away from it. But at the end of the day, it's like as long as you're not in certain places and put yourself in situations that things can happen to you, you're going to be okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? Hopefully, you know, hopefully things can happen. It's life, bro. But like I said, everything's written. You're going to go that's when you're going to leave. Yeah. Anyway, and that's right? why I, I recommend the people that travel look right. the, go to tripadvisor.com. You can find a lot of people. They put their own experiences up there. Yes, and, man. And like, there's this other website, and I forget its name, right? But it it tracks all the crime, not only all the crimes, what types of crime. You can see if this country is more prone to pickpocketing, mugging, blah, blah. Yeah, you can see yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. Like, they take all the stats, and people put their own things. Like, just do research, man. But I'd say, all in all, I don't want to say most places are safe, because Honduras, I hear a lot of crazy stuff from there. Oh, I don't want to go there. <laughs> well, once again, once again, it's putting yourself in a situation where it's not, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you go to Honduras, you go somewhere like in the hood or something, yeah, yeah things yeah, can happen true. to you. But you know what I mean? Yeah. But the if you won't your be in light, what to I know mean? where to go. Bro, Honduras mm-hmm. is nothing but hood. <laughs> no, I know, but I, maybe it is. I don't know. I mean, I can't yeah, speak not, on that. But not, well, yeah, it's yeah, you're right. I'm just saying like, because if it was not by hood, most of the people would be dead. Like yeah, you mean? Out, there got to be some safe space. No, I think just like because nothing do because everybody in the hood ain't killing everybody because most people be dead. Like just go and we'll just be ending everybody over here because like pop, I know, I know, I know because because ah, yeah, because ah, 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 I was in the hood my hood my whole life. Hey people Joey, walk outside, yeah. dead, dead body. Oh shit! Hey, <laughs> hey, go hey Joey, guys, remember what was that group? Remember you know what it made me think of all of a sudden? Remember back in the murder squad. Murder we squad listen to Murder Squad, it. and you listen to their lyrics. You're like, "Ain't no one left alive in their hood." <laughs> they killed everyone. Hey, one day. I, remember, guys, I was like, I want, "I want to, I want to go to school," and I had to like open the door and like just unstack dead bodies to get out. You know what I mean? And just like, walk along and just try to. I mean, like, no, because it wasn't like that. Yeah, come yeah. on. I mean, I, we, I mean, but shit happened. Shit happened. You know what I mean? But nah. I will say, a lot of these places do. I'm sorry, I don't like saying a mm. lot because it's not that. Mm. Some places do prey on tourists, right? Because they can see you coming, yeah. right? Mm. Back. But that, that uh, I'll speak off my, I, I almost said something that we did back in the day. Anyways, yo, <laughs> you good? Um, that's it for this episode back. of A We Said hey. the Podcast. Um, we signing out. We got King Tigger here. What's up? We got Jesus. GK on the phone. And I'm John Let's Kizzy. Go, brother. Because you know who is he. Also known as Philly G. Because they know who I be. And we're going to catch you next time. All right? Yeah. We out. Peace. Peace. All right. Peace. And that's all for this episode of A. We started the podcast. I'm John Kizzy. You know who is he? Also known as Philly G because they know who I be. And I'm here with King Tigger. And on the phone as always, Genghis Khan, the war general. And we'll catch you next episode.